Every athlete's road to the National Football League is unique. And for Christian Scotland Williamson, a professional rugby player from London, the unlikely journey began in a flash. Tackle of the Premiership so far. In this digital age, one moment can change your life because it can be seen by a million people and it looks so much bigger than it felt. I went from being a, a player with ambitions to play for England to then having the opportunity to go and chase something which may be unknown. And I don't think many people are fortunate enough to have that opportunity where something that they never thought could be a reality turns out to land right in their lap. Christian's viral rugby tackle attracted the attention of NFL scouts, and he's been invited to join the league's pathway program, where he'll train alongside four other international prospects for a chance to join the roster of an NFL team. Being chosen or spotted is the first step that gets you opportunity. You never really believe how good you are until there are certain pivotal moments in your life or your career. So what am I prepared to do to make that dream a reality? It's a big transition for someone that has been a professional before and played at a high level. I think to take yourself back to square one is quite a hard thing to do. There's no getting away from the big potential negative, which is lack of football experience. Put a little bit of bow in your back, just slightly. Yep. No minutes on the field, never put on a pad, never put on a helmet. The odds are stacked so heavily against me, I almost think they're in my favor because no one really expects anything from me. So go. Perfect. This isn't going to be an easy journey. This is going to be very difficult and there'll be times when I feel like my back's against the wall and it's how I overcome those feelings, overcome those obstacles and ultimately find out more about myself. Christian's challenge now is to learn the ways and vocabulary of American football, which barely resembles rugby. He has three months to train before he'll showcase his skills in front of league scouts at a pro day alongside NFL prospects from across the United States. I think I was still too narrow on that. Yeah, I was. So on that cone, yeah. what I get tempted to do is so I come around here, swing step, round. Yeah. And as I'm breaking this corner, I go, I don't get my right Double foot Double tap round. right there? Yeah. Yeah. You know, you have to keep with that lean and trust your body to get it there. Okay. Right, cause... Next week when we work out for uh, NFL teams and, and alongside other college players and veteran players, Really, it's, it's a chance for them to showcase themselves and represent themselves and the hard work that they've put in through these 12 weeks and everything they've done prior to this. All right, shut it down. That was a good day. Because the bloke turned around and said, it's keeping up with Jordan. It's not NFL on the sky. It is keeping up with Jordan. But really, he's, it's a this whole thing. It's a ploy. He's, Main he's event. You know he's not like this at home. When the cameras aren't rolling, he's not like this at home. He's quiet, stays in his room the whole time, <laughs> plays his Xbox, reads his books. You look like a good one. How's everyone at home? I always call mum first. She's really my rock. She's my sounding board on everything. And even my best friends, I speak to her most days. When Christian first left to go to America, that's quite hard not seeing him. So I ensured that um, I stayed up until after midnight um, to just try and get five minutes with him. He was so busy. Um, it was difficult for him, but he made sure 
that we had some time to have a chat. It's not going to be easy, but I have to enjoy it. Well, there's a major reality to be faced, Christian, and that is that it's how many, what's the percentage of people who get to play one professional sport? Yeah. Much less two. You know, it's pretty special, to say the least. I've always believed that you should never stipend yourself and that any opportunity is a great opportunity and it's far better to say, well, I tried and I succeeded. Christian may get his sensitive side from his mother, but his intensity and competitiveness comes from his dad, former amateur boxing champion Guy Williamson. My dad's really the barometer that I measure myself against. Amateur boxing back in the day was huge. It's a lot bigger than it is now. So in order to keep training and to have a career and support himself, my dad joined the police force and was able to keep boxing and win the Amateur Boxing Association and then narrowly missed out on the Olympics because of injury. I can only imagine how devastating that must have been for him. I think sometimes when you're physically gifted, you take certain things for granted and it's only when you have it taken completely away from you that you value it that much more. But that's what's really prepared me for the journey I'm about to undertake because uh, it kind of set me up to be able to see what a true professional was. That's not to waste time, never waste an opportunity because you never know when it can be over. The pro day has arrived. Christian will be measured, tested, and run through a series of drills that will determine how he stacks up against top college performers from across the U.S. After weeks of steady and sweaty preparation, this is his final exam. I always say that luck is where determination meets opportunity. So in my career, I felt like I had no luck. I had bad luck. I had this thing go wrong, that thing go wrong. And then you have to take it into your own hands and decide enough of that. I feel like that dedication and that persistence and that perseverance is what got me this opportunity because not many people get to stand where we are at the moment, especially as an international athlete. You're looking for a competitor because if you're a competitor, you find a way to get it done. You can't change what's going to happen. You can just go out there and be who you are. It's so performance driven. It, the stakes are so high that if you don't mold, if you don't adapt, if you don't overcome certain obstacles, you won't be there for long. After a solid day of work, Christian ends pro day by showing off his speed on a deep route. But suddenly, an ordinary drill becomes anything but routine. Just a little tug or? It is what it is. You just let it go. You're good, man. Despite the injury, Christian has given the scouts plenty of material to think about regarding his future in football. Now, he awaits their call. I'm really well, thank you. How are you? When that phone rings and you see a, a Pittsburgh area code underneath, when you've got no expectation of it ever being them, that was emotional. That's <laughs> my boy! Picked up by the Steelers, baby! Steelers, <laughs> Playing for the Steelers in black and yellow, it's, it's surreal. And it's the... A culmination of four months of training, but also a, a large body of work over the course of my life to kind of get to this point. <laughs> Christian Scotland Williamson's football career may have started with one tackle on a rugby field. 
but it's been nurtured and developed by his singular focus to make it to the National Football League. Nice coming down today. Thanks, it's my last day. Is it? Yeah. Have a safe journey home. Did you enjoy it? Yeah. I love your accent. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> there you go. Have a good day. Safe journey home. I'm from London. London? Yeah. Oh, there you go. There you go. <laughs> the day when I actually saw my name printed on the back of a jersey, um, it's hard to describe, especially because it's one of those things that I never thought would actually happen. Although the achievement of playing in their first NFL game was life-changing, for the Pathway Brotherhood, the most significant game was in Philadelphia, as the Steelers take on the Eagles. The defending Super Bowl champions versus one of the most successful franchises in NFL history. Big hole for a Johnny, a first down, and big time running outside the 20. Late into the third quarter, it was Christian's turn to make a play. Rudolph firing the deep out, and it's caught. Finds his receiver, Christian Scotland Williamson, on the sideline for first down. First play. <laughs> wow. So you're going up. Yeah. It's just like matchmaking heaven right there. Yeah. Still have the fans in American football. Yeah. There are certain touching points, certain moments in your life where you know that you'll remember them for the rest of your life. So when I'm looking back when I'm 50, 60, 70, not many people in their lifetime get to say they've done something truly unique. First NFL game for both of us. We both came in together as rugby players. That's something we'll have for life.